Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you're not new, if you're new, welcome. Thank you for joining me. So I hope you had a good week. Um, I'll just get straight into the makeup. So I've gone through my skincare and done my brows because they take such a long time to do. So just want to shout this out. This is the Essence from Pat McGrath. It's Divine Skin. I've got a sample from the um, end of summer sale. And I actually really like this. I didn't know what to expect, but I re it's kind of nice. It gives an instant plumpness to skin, a glow. And I've been loving it for skin prep. Sometimes I just use it on its own and just apply my makeup. It is so good. So today I'll use the self-refreshing foundation. This is Synchro Skin from Shiseido. And that's my shade, it's copper. Put this in my brush. Just kind of buffing it in. So as far as the match with this one, it has a slight red undertone. And I actually don't mind that because sometimes it's like a hint of red cancels out any hyperpigmentation or discoloration in the skin. So, and then it kind of evens the skin out. It does look very skin-like. It kind of meshes with your skin. I wasn't even looking for that. I just kind of noticed that it looks very skin-like. So maybe that's why they named it Synchro Skin. <laughs> it's actually almost done. I'm actually surprised that I've got a bit more in there because I used it every single day. Well, not every day, but a lot during summer. I'm going to take that up on the forehead. Yeah. So I do go off camera and just really blend the foundation into the skin. I've got a pimple just there. I don't know what it wants from me. Why are you here? I'll go with the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer from Charlotte Tilbury to highlight. So I'm really sorry that I didn't post last weekend. I just was just spread thin. Today I'll do a full glam face and just deliver on that green smoky eye that we promised a couple of weeks ago. Do you know the models on Instagram just do like one swipe there and just one little swipe. <laughs> I'm gonna need the whole bottle. Okay, <laughs> just depends on how much you think you need. So now I'll just go into bronze. This is Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. Just going to buff that into my hairline. Ooh. <laughs> this bronzer makes me just glow on the inside as well, not just on the outside. <laughs> Maybe I'll add a bit just there too. I'll take my favourite contour. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I feel like I'm always doing the same routine. Um, I will switch up products really soon, but these are my favourite things to use, especially this um, contour kit. It's just exactly the right tone and just the right depth, you know? So I usually just bronze here, but the rest of my face I contour. So I don't use any contour on my forehead. I just feel like it looks better just with a bit of warmth rather than the cool tone of a, an actual contour. And then the usual blend. Taps. So this is one of my favorite concealers just from the shade to how beautiful it is blended oh wow super super gorgeous just flawless it's a medium coverage but you can build it up and i think it's more on the on the um higher coverage of the medium spectrum do you know what i mean so just light light taps wow hermosa Beautiful. Just grab my foundation brush and gonna quickly, you don't have to be quick, but I'm just really trying to cruise through the skin because I'm so excited about this green look that I'm gonna do on the eyes. Take my contour brush, just erase that harshness around here. Just doing complexion makes me so happy. Like, I like blending so much. Maybe just cut this down. 
Again, I'll just grab my foundation brush. Give a bit of... And then we're going to tap like we never tapped before. Okay, so now I'll just go in with my powder, but I'm not using my beloved Huda powder because I've actually run out of it. The powder that I'm using, I won't say because I actually don't like it and I don't want to mislead anybody, but it's very, it's quite brightening. And it's actually not that bad. It doesn't last or wear very well, so I, I won't shout it out. So I've used a lot of powders when it comes to makeup. And some of them are quite popular, but just didn't work for me. Like one that rhymes with Bora Bercier. Okay, so everyone loves that. But I used two um, freaking jars of powder and I just can't get with that one. So I'm going to stick to this one instead. And another one is Charlotte Tilbury's. Obviously, I love, love that powder, the compact powder. The Airbrush Flawless is so good. But yeah, this is not my fave, so I just won't say anything about it. There are so many popular products that just didn't work for me. So I'm always big on just trying things out. Just see for yourself what works for you and... What works for you might not work for someone else. It's really not up to majority. You don't feel like you're supposed to like something. If it doesn't work for you, then it doesn't work for you. So, and there's so many options when it comes to um, makeup nowadays. This is the sculpting powder from Kevin Aquan. Just. Airbrush Flawless Bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. Open up, sweetheart. The shade is absolute perfection. Such a good bronzing shade. I'll actually tap some on my cheeks because I just like a bit of colour to my face. I don't like being washed out. So we'll just go into the eye look now. I really can't wait. And then we'll come back and do a bit of highlighter, maybe a bit of blush. To prime my lids, I used my favourite. This is the uh, Primer Potion from Urban Decay in Caffeine. So this is the main palette that I'm using. It's the 420 palette from Melt Cosmetics. So those are the gorgeous, gorgeous green shades. This is my newest palette, so it's quite new to me. And that's why you'll see some shades I actually haven't touched. So I'll start with Faded, that gorgeous, gorgeous green. I'll start light and then we'll just gradually deepen the look. I've just brought this into the um, inner part of the eye and then bring it up and out to meet the tip of my, the tail of my brow, kind of. Just bringing it down towards my lash line so that when I add more of the colours there is a bit of dimension so that it's not just one colour. This is going to turn out so gorgeous. Imagine me hyping the look and it doesn't even hit. But no, nah, we can't think like that. It's going to be amazing. It already is amazing in my head and in my heart. So it's going to be amazing on my eyes. Oh, you cute cute. <laughs> I thought you was cute, but you cute cute. So that's the first shade down. So now I'll take chronic which is just a deeper kind of olive green so i'll just build this up underneath this faded shade it's absolutely stunning okay lovely so gorgeous in a pot Circular motions and window wiper kind of motions as well. Just lightly go over with the first shade so that we don't lose it. That green I just used. Lightly just bring it down here too to give a really smoky look. 
so usually with a more cat eye look I tend to put more eyeshadow here and less here so it really gives that kind of look do you know what I mean so I don't mind putting a lot here but not so much on the outside so on an even smaller blending brush I'll take roll it uh, that deep kind of leafy green I'm gonna put this on the outside edge just kind of tap it on this is going to give a bit more depth. Bring it further in. I love how this looks so much. So I said this was a green smoky eye and it is, but I just want to add a bit of maroon just on the lash line because it is a bit fall inspired as well. So I just want to add not so much a different shade, but a different element. So. Just a bit of flair, like a nuance to the look. So I'll take this Maria shade from the Amori Mariposas palette. She's also from Melt. And I'll just dust this on the lash line just to give a different feel. This actually will make the green pop a lot more, I think. I think. See, so it just adds a bit of, mm, like, a kick, you know, like, a roundhouse kick, like Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> what? Just adds a different element to the look, you know, right on the lash line. So now, the moment that I've personally been waiting for, I'm going to add a green shimmer right on the lid. And I'm going to take it from this palette. It's called Amunet or Amunet as I like to call it, it's from Adept Cosmetics and it is super super stunning that is the green Nephthys or Nephthys that I'm going to use so Amunet is an ancient Egyptian goddess so is Nephthys, I think this is the sister of Isis I'm really into Egyptian things, um, ancient Egypt yeah, so this is very ancient Egyptian inspired you'll see like Horus, Seth and Re or Ra, Osiris, Anubis. This is honestly one of my favourite themes that a brand has ever done. Definitely one of my favourite palettes. Packaging is so beautiful. But I want to do this over a black base. So I'll take this from Danessa Myricks. It's Blackout. I'll just do it on my hand. So that Nephthys shade is my favourite shade from this palette. And honestly, one of the most beautiful green shimmers that I've ever seen. So I just really want it to pop. It's good on its own, but because this is a smoky look, I just want to add something underneath it. Yes, my brush is tattered and whatever, but my brushes are actually dirty. So I'm having to use my back up brushes. So first I'll just pick it up with my finger. Ooh. Tell me this isn't gorgeous, just beautiful. Wow. Okay, so I'll just take a brush and use the brush because these nails are literally my power, my pleasure and my pain. I just spray it twice. Bring it up all the way here. I don't want the um, crease to cut, so I'll just kind of tap, 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 tap. Okay, so while we're in this palette, I'll take Imhotep, use it to blend the edge of that shimmer, so it just is seamless. So now I'll take the um, NYX Epic Ink Liner, do a liner. I'm not really sure if I want to smudge it, so we'll just see what it looks like first. Okay, so the liners are not exactly identical, but I'm not about to ruin this look, so I'll just go in for an inner corner highlight. Spray my brush. I'll just go into Celestial Nirvana. This is a new holiday palette from Pat McGrath. 
first of all it's absolutely gorgeous like what in the actual world is going on i'll just grab this shade on the corner called golden angelic pop that right in the inner corner i always said i'd name like my child nirvana or like cathedral or fire i always liked fire right so i just added my lashes it's giving Egyptian goddess. Okay, so I'll just go underneath with a bit of perversion mascara from Urban Decay. Actually, first I'll take the NYX Epic Aware Liner, just for the waterline. Brown, a very dark brown, because this is a smoky look. And what's a smoky look without brown or black in the waterline? And then quickly I'll just take this called Shatter. This is a um, shimmer, amber shimmer. Just place that here, because I feel like the bottom needs a bit of highlighter as well. We have to be fair. So just for a bit of blush, I'll take Sanguine. This is from Kaleidos. Ooh, packs a punch. So I'll add a bit of highlighter. This is the Iconic Drops. My favourite liquid highlighter, just over there. Is that not the most stunning highlighter you've ever seen? I don't do too much here because sometimes it emphasises the texture in my forehead. I don't like that. So lastly I'll take this, it's the Cloud Lap Lip Clay from Kaleidos and it's in shade Cognac. This is a red toned brown although it looks kind of red and these are so easy to apply i love these kind of brought down the lighting a bit because i feel like i don't want to um short change the eyeshadows or the lips like i need everything to look the way it's it looks like as gorgeous as it looks do you know what i mean <laughs> Okay, so I'll just leave it here. This is the look done. Last week I said I would show you the most gorgeous green that I've ever seen. And isn't this the most gorgeous green shimmer that you've ever seen? I mean, it's right up there for me on the gorgeous green list. I'm so used to bringing shimmers a bit higher up because I've got like a semi, like a semi hooded lid bit of highlighter i always use the um iconic drops just to make things more glam this is a very good highlighter it makes things and i like that it's liquid so it doesn't emphasize texture or anything like that a nude lip would work a brown lip deep espresso kind of shade would work green it literally goes with any color that's what i love about it it's a bit like black yeah so it's quite a versatile look and i just love the green so <laughs> Yeah, so overall, I like how it turned out. So next week, though, we'll get into some colour. This is the Escape Pod from Kaleido's Makeup. So yeah, we'll get into some colour next week. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section. And I'll see you next week. Bye.